new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. Hi, I'm Jen Hillman, and today I'm going to demonstrate some face massage. But before we get started, earlier, Karina and I were debating about which one of us is prettier. So we decided to put it up to a vote. Leave us a comment below. Let me know what you think. Who's prettier, me or Karina? Me or Karina? It's up to you. Thanks. Now to get started, you mash firmly on your partner's <laughs> face. <laughs> to help them feel relaxed and comfortable. <laughs> A lot of times to get started, I really like to just start by massaging into the neck. It helps your partner feel more relaxed and more at ease. So just taking some nice gentle strokes, I move from the tops of the shoulders, along the sides of the neck, up to the base of the skull. And when I get to the base of the head, I can even give a steady, firm little pull. It helps to open up spaces in between each of the vertebrae. So just moving my fingers along either side of the neck and finishing with a gentle pull at the base of the skull. This is really good for people who have tension in the back of their neck, which is pretty much everyone, right? You could honestly probably do this for 10 minutes and your partner would love you. So just know you're already off to a good start. And I'll sometimes even just use my thumbs to massage small little circles around the sides of the neck. I'm not using too much pressure here. A lot of times people can be sensitive in the neck because there's a lot of tension that gets built up. So I'm using just enough pressure to really connect in with the muscles and manipulate those tissues. And I'll usually finish with another little pull at the base of the skull. <clears throat> From here, a really easy transition is to just move your fingers up to the ears. And pinching the earlobe between my first finger and my thumb, I'll apply a gentle pressure as I pull the earlobes down towards the shoulders. And then release. And then I'll pinch the earlobes just a little further up. Again, pulling the earlobe gently away from the head. And I'll continue this gentle pull all the way up the ears pinching a little higher each time as I go. It's believed in Chinese medicine that the ear represents every single part of the body in some form or another. So by massaging the ears, you are in effect giving a gentle relaxing massage to the whole body. So this is a great way to help your partner relax and get calm and peaceful.
from here, I'll work my way up to the forehead with my thumbs. I like to use my thumbs to work the space between the eyebrows, which is a place where people will carry a lot of tension. If you think about how stressed you are, how aggravated you become at your children, how frustrating your finances can be sometimes. All of that tension gets stored in our face. You don't necessarily think about it, but this is a really great massage technique to help to relax tension between the brow. I like to think about it as rubbing the wrinkles out. If only it were that simple. So I'll continue massaging all the way up through the forehead. There's so much tension that can get stored in the forehead. So just start to separate the skin, giving a nice stretch to those tiny little muscles that connect your face to your skull. Working along the edge of the eyebrow is extremely helpful. There are a lot of pressure points, acupressure points along the eyebrow. So as you work that edge, it's very relaxing and soothing. From here, you can easily start to work into the temples on either side of the eyes. I like to use gentle circles here. And just be sure that you're not using too much pressure because oftentimes the temples can be quite sensitive. And then I'll change directions of my circles rotating my fingers in the opposite direction. After working the forehead and the eyebrows, working around the temples. <clears throat> I like to work down into the jaw. So this is good for people who clench their jaws, grind their teeth, and is even a great approach to start working with someone who suffers with TMJ. So as you work your fingers below the cheekbone, you'll start to notice a really tight band of muscle fiber. This is called the masseter. It's the big muscle that moves your jaw open and closed. So I'm using a pretty steady pressure here. <clears throat> it's firm, but I'm not working terribly deeply because the masseter can also be extremely sensitive. But once I've made contact with the muscle, I'm applying that firm, steady pressure and also pressing slightly downward towards her chest. So this way I'm actually stretching and lengthening out any tension in the masseter. You can actually work into the masseter for quite a long time because it's a muscle that works all the time and works very hard. It can build up quite a lot of tension. So it's very easy to spend a fair amount of time just working into this tiny little tight band of tissue. 
<clears throat> As you develop your sensitivity, you'll even notice little pockets of excess tension. So you can work even more specifically into those areas. And then once I've worked the jaw, <clears throat> I like to bring my hands underneath the chin and just gently stroke my hands underneath her jawline. This is very soothing, very comforting. It's something that can help your partner to relax very deeply. Just bring both hands all the way up to the forehead. From here I can work all of my fingertips from the eyebrows with firm steady pressure all the way out towards the hairline. I usually repeat this a few times, it feels very nice. And from here, it's very easy to transition directly into a scalp massage. And just about everyone I know loves having their scalp massaged. So anytime you spend a little time massaging someone's scalp, you're usually gonna be their new best friend. And I just work my way all the way around the scalp, behind the ears, at the base of the head. I work up to the hairline. Just working my way all the way around the whole cranium. So this is a really nice way to finish a face massage. Oftentimes, I'll finish my full body massage with this head, neck, face massage. So after their entire body is relaxed, then I can do a little bit of this extra deeply relaxing stuff. And it really helps to add a complete feeling to the entire experience. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comment voting for me, Jen, as your most beautiful Psyche Truth massage therapist. Visit my website to learn more about me and don't forget to subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.